I, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. I, y'all see what's going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, man, this one today is dealing with your boy, no other than the CEO legend of Rap A Lot Records. Who am I talking about? Y'all already know, Jay Prince. And how Jay Prince speaks on what happened to take off the night of October the 31st at a private event in H-Town. And also, Jay Prince speaks on what happened to Chicago's own Duke the Jeweler and H-Town leaving a concert with Boosie just two months ago. You dig? Let's get to the story. So a lot of people is already familiar with what happened to Takeoff pertaining to it being all over social media. You understand? Once folks read that Takeoff got blinkied up and sent down at a private event, they already knew. They already knew it had to be somebody that was either associated to the Amigos or associated to J. Prince Jr. camp. And right now, what a lot of people is seeing that, yes, the person that blinkied down and sent up Takeoff was actually part of the Amigos, you understand? He was like a role manager or something like that, but he did something on the Amigos camp that made him a very close affiliate to take off Offset and Quavo, you understand? Before we get into it, let's first pay our respects and say rest in peace to take off, condolences to his family, and much love to all my folks in the ATL. Say at the same time, right, a lot of people did not even know it was somebody else that was beaking down and sent up that same night as take off, right? That same night, because y'all got to read the report. The report read that it was three people who was hit with a blicky. One of them made it, two of them didn't. Again, one of those two happened to be takeoff. The other one is one of J. Prince Jr. affiliates. So that's the reason why even J. Prince is coming out himself and saying, hey, he want to let people know that he aware of what's going on in his city. You understand? And he want people to not take these isolated events to make it seem as if this is all Houston. Like, everybody in Houston thinks this way. He said, no, nah, man, his city don't move like that. And at the same time, he gonna make sure that Take Off Family gets justice and also Chicago own Duke the Jeweler. He gonna make sure his family gets justice as well. Because, again, he said what he's seeing, he really don't like, you understand? And at the same time, the reason why he said he's speaking on it, because he's speaking from a concerned parent perspective, you understand? Because he's aware that his son had been in the building or been involved around both of these guys prior to their untimely demise. And again, I'm talking about Takeoff and Chicago's own Duke the Jeweler. Again, J. Prince Jr., he was around these guys, Takeoff and Duke the Jeweler, prior to their untimely demise. So again, even J. Prince is speaking on, hey, I'm aware of what's going down. I'm even talking to my sons about what's happening, and I'm even telling them, the only thing y'all need to worry about right now is making sure y'all artists get off the ground. Everything else, like he said, y'all don't need to be around no more dice games, going to no more functions, especially if it's not pertaining to y'all artists. You understand? He said because he know that once they get dragged into something, he automatically going to get drugged into something as well. And this is something that he tried to separate. You understand? But at the same time, he understands that whenever somebody see his sons, they see him. So again, basically people, so basically he's saying that People up that ladder is waiting for either him to make some mistakes or his sons. And right now, he's not dealing with either one. He's not going for the BS or he's not letting his sons get caught in no BS. And right now, pertaining to what happened to Takeoff and what happened to one of J. Prince Jr. affiliates, hey, somebody got some real explaining to do, man. Like I told y'all from the beginning, ever pertaining to this whole Takeoff situation, I knew it was somebody that was affiliated. Like I said, I even read it myself, the first words. As soon as I read the report, take off, blink it down, and sent up at a private location. Again, once I see in private location, I'm like, hey, man, everybody, it should be the person in that building should know they did it. And the people in there should know that person did it. You feel what I'm saying? Who will want to up a blinky at a private location that everybody in that building know one another? So even Jay Prince spoke on the fact that it seems like somebody became real irate to even want to send takeoff up. Even Jay Prince is speaking on the fact that, hey, man, it was at a private location. He thinking that everybody there would have love for one another. And that's the same thing I was thinking as well. You know what I'm saying? That everybody at that private event would have one another back. But again, 
The same thing we stated with the whole Nip case, with the whole Mo3, and the whole Young Dolph. Rest in peace to all those brothers, man. But again, we always stated that it got to be somebody that's close to you. It got to be somebody next to you that know your moves. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all something, man. Charleston White tried to tell y'all, and this is even something that Jay Prince speaks on, man. You got to watch the people that's around you the most because those guys that's around you the most, they'll create every reason to be envious and jealous of you. You understand? Instead of learning from you about how you got on your path to create money, like, no, nah, man, a lot of these dudes believe that things is just supposed to be handed to them, that they ain't got to work for nothing, right? So again, that person that is working his hardest to get where he at, he end up getting underhanded by somebody who grew up with him. Come on, man. This happens all the time, man. So again, Jay Prince is speaking on the fact that he don't want outsiders to look at his city like that's not nowhere to go to where you can enjoy yourself by yourself or with your family. So again, Jay Prince is saying, hey, man, I want people that have the same mentality that they've been having about Houston, that, you know, we some cool cats. You know what I'm saying? We all about hospitality. We all about making outsiders feel welcome, you know what I'm saying, in our hometown. But at the same time, those outsiders can't come with that extra goofy mentality, you understand? And this is something that Jay Prince speaks on as well, man. That sometimes it don't even be the people that's from Houston. It be outsiders coming there and drawing up nonsense. And that I do agree with. That I do believe does happen, man. Because again, even speaking on Duke the Jeweler's situation, right? You got some people who like, no, nah, man, Boosie had nothing to do with that. Jay Prince Jr. had nothing to do with that either. But again, like I stated to you guys before, because they ain't got nothing to do with it themselves, it don't mean they're associated. They guys that hang around them don't got their eyes wide open trying to see the next lick they can hit. You understand? Because that's what end up happening. Somebody that's part of your circle, they not getting a bag like you do. But again, at the same time, they want to shoot dice. They want to move like you do, but they ain't got the same money. So again, once they lose their money in the dice game, they trying to look around and see What's the next easy lick? Now, that's not the same instance dealing with takeoff as it was for Duke the Jeweler. Again, Duke the Jeweler, he was surrounded by a bunch of people he did not know. Because he knew these dudes had money, he ain't thinking they mind that one of their guys had a grimy mentality. And that's real, man. I just want people to be aware of who they are around and the place location that they at. You understand? And I agree with Jay Prince when he say, hey, man, we need to sit down and we really need to be aware of the moves that we're making and the things that we're saying. And not only that, we need to be aware of the things that we're perpetuating on for the next generation. You understand? Because look at man. It's too many dudes that have no problem risking it all and not end up being a detriment to their life that results in their untimely demise. Y'all feel me? So at the same time, like I stated, while a lot of people was grieving, take off untimely demise. A lot of people did not know that somebody from J. Prince Jr. camp was also sent up that same night, man. And again, this is in the reports. But like J. Prince stated from the beginning, why is it somebody in that party that's itching to up the blicking? And that's real talk, man. Even if two people in there did have a huge discontent, it should still never lead to nobody up in the blicky to two people end up getting sent up. It should never lead to that, man. Again, this is at a private event, a private function. So that means everybody in there correlate with one another some way, somehow. You understand? Either you know Quavo or you know Takeoff or you know Offset. You feel what I'm saying? Or you know J. Prince Jr. affiliates. So everybody should have just been there to enjoy themselves. Not be in there up in no blickies, man. This ain't the time for that. J. Prince said, hey, man, if you got to be in the building around your family and loved ones and you got to up a blicky, you didn't love them people anyway. And that's real talk. You didn't have a care or a love for nobody in that building. And there's no such thing as a mistake, man. Are you, you got some people like, oh, no. See, it was a fight that broke out. I told y'all last video, man, that fight was probably a decoy. That fight was probably a decoy. And at the same time, nobody mistakenly ups a blicky and then end up hitting somebody. Come on, man. What happened to being on safety? There's two measures of defense before you even, you know what I'm saying, pull the blicky. And this person, whoever it was... They did not exercise those measurements, and that's real. Hey, but as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.